what is up you two welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here thank you so much for clicking on my video i hope you enjoy my content and if you're a regular thank you so much for um, coming back for subscribing for supporting me i definitely feel the love and the support i see you guys in the comments i'm loving what i'm seeing so thank you so much for the support i totally appreciate it so today's video we're going to answer the question, does God love me? And that's something that I really wanted to finish the month of love with, um, the love of God, because I think it's so important to know how much God loves us. And if we have nothing, as long as we have the love of God, we will be okay. So first, we have to understand that God is love. There's no love without God. God is literally love. And people used to tell me this at church, um, this woman specifically, and she was just like, do you know how blessed you are? God has named you love. That is literally the essence of who God is. And I truly feel blessed by that, like to know that God is love. Today, I pray that I'm able to share some light on the love of God and really um, have you guys hold on to something, especially in these times where it can be hard when people say, oh, God loves you and he's there for you. But it's like sometimes we don't see God we don't see like how can God love us when all these things are happening you get that probably a lot of times where people are like well if God uh, is real or if God loves me why does this happen why is this happening to me and sometimes when bad things are happening in our lives we tend to blame God for it and we tell ourselves there's no way that he can love me and I want to encourage you um, no matter what season you're going through no matter what season you're in right now to know that you can always rely on the unconditional love of God so first, I was just thinking about it. He didn't even have to create us, if we really think about it. I mean, he's God. Like, he literally can make anything happen. He created this entire world. He created us. And he didn't have to. Even when he had the opportunity to wipe us all out um, in Sodom and Gomorrah or Noah's time, you know, he still decided to save humanity through a righteous man, through Noah. And that is where we all are descended from pretty much. So just even think about that. Like God loves us so much that he created us. Like we are created by God. And I don't know anyone that creates anything that doesn't really love it. You know what I mean? And in, in the scriptures, God says that he created us in his image, in his likeness. And when God created us, he said that it was very good. So he's obviously pleased with his creation, which is us. I don't know really any parent that doesn't love their child that would do anything for their child. So the fact that God created us in his likeness, in his image, should tell you that God loves us. So the first thing I want you guys to grasp on and to, to understand is that God loves us because he created us and we are made in his image and his likeness. So we know that love is not just a word that we say and I find that in our culture and it's so easy for us to say that we love something. I watch like shows like The Bachelor and they say I'm falling in love with you after two weeks or I love you after four weeks and um, even like when we say we, we love things like I love pizza, I love chocolate and that word is just being thrown out like left, right and center and fortunately even people that get beat you know their significant other after they're done beating them they're like but you know I love you but it's like but your your mouth is saying one thing but your actions are saying something completely different and so coming back to God now God not only tells us that he loves us but he shows us through action how much he loves us and you may say well how does he show us he shows us that he loves us by showing us how much he cares about us and in the scripture in first Peter 5 7 it says Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. So God tells us in his word, which is pretty much a book of love letters to us, that he cares about us and we should cast our cares on him. You can find also um, the verse in Luke 12, verse 28, where God says, And if God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Even there, God shows us that if he takes care of the littlest thing, how much more us 
that he would care for okay. thing he shows his love to us by listening to us when you love somebody you take the time to listen to them to really take in what they have to say and so god says in in psalm 77 verse 1 he says i cry out to god yes i shout and that god would listen to me Sometimes we just want to cry out. We just want to reach God and we just need someone to hear us and God is available to hear us. Another passage in the Bible that shows that God listens to us is in John 9 verse 31 where it says, We know that God doesn't listen to sinners, but he is ready to hear those who worship him and do his will. So honestly, I could do another video on this one, but we also have to understand that if we believe in God and if we know that God is real and we obey his commandments and we do the things that he's told us to do, he will always have an ear to listen to us. But if we continue to sin and continue to stay away from him and continue to do the opposite of what he asks us to do, then yeah, of course, it will be very clouded and very hard for him to hear us over all of the sins that we're doing. So we have to repent. It is so important. I've done a video on this and the importance of repenting. It is important that you walk a life where you're constantly repenting and making sure that you're not far away from God. Another way that God shows us that he loves us is that he actually takes the time to know us. He actually knows us. He knows everything about us. And that is comforting because sometimes people will say that they love you, but they don't know anything about you, especially if we think about these shows like The Bachelor. You only see a fraction of myself in a beautiful gown or in an activity and you say that you love me but do you know me so god unlike the bachelor <laughs> actually takes the time to know us a popular chapter that is known for this is psalms 139 and it says in verse 16 you saw me before i was born every day of my life was recorded in your book every moment was laid out before a single day had passed how precious are your thoughts about me, O God? They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. And if you go down to verse 23, it says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thought. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting love. Life. Everlasting life. <laughs> And you can tell by this, God knows us from the moment we were conceived, we were born. God knows us. He knows everything about us. He knows what we do. He knows our thought. He searches our heart. Someone and only someone that loves you will actually take the time to get to know you. The way that God shows us that he loves us is through intimacy. And we know that intimacy is super important when we are in a relationship with somebody because that's what makes us closer, that's what drives us in, that's what lets us stay in a relationship longer because we've created this intimacy, this relationship that we are now comfortable in and that we desire to continue. In James 4, verse 8, God says this, Come close to God and God will come close to you. So if we draw closer to him, he will draw closer to us. So that creates an intimacy between us and God because if you are in a relationship with someone and you show some interest, that person will show some interest as well and vice versa. If that person shows interest, you, if you're interested, you're going to show them that you're interested in getting to know them and, and having this relationship started. So the same thing with God. God says that if we draw closer to him, he will draw closer to us. And lastly, when you love someone like God does, you protect them. So God shows us that he loves us by protecting us. And um, in 2 Thessalonians verse 3, he says, But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. Shows us that he loves us by protecting us from the evil one. And I'm sure that every single person that is watching this video right now has a testimony as to how God protected them from the evil one. Um, you, we all have a testimony and if you have a testimony, I encourage you to share your testimony because testimonies are so powerful. It shows actually the love of God and the mercy of God and how much we have overcome with the help of God. That, those are a couple ways that God shows us that he loves us. And if that wasn't enough to prove to us that God loves us, and that he loves me, he sacrifices himself on a cross 
for my sin. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 it says, But God shows his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. While we were still sinners. And for us, we weren't even alive yet. So even before we were born, God had already sacrificed himself for us. Can you imagine? There's no greater love than this. And we hear this all the time. And I am in awe of God every time I think of the fact that he died on a cross for us. He didn't have to do it, guys. He didn't have to do it. And that is the whole beauty of his love and showing us how much he loves us is the fact that he didn't have to do it. He could have let us deal with the Old Testament rules and regulations on sacrificing. I'm literally reading Leviticus right now and I'm blown away by the amount of things that they had to sacrifice for specific things, for specific sins, specific animals. Like, you know how much of a chore it requires for you to go pick out a uh, a dove or a goat or a bull to sacrifice on the altar because you sin that that is like crazy but god loves us so much so much that he sent his perfect son on earth to sacrifice himself for our sin so now anything that you do whether you've already done it or you're about to do it it's it's already paid for the debt has been paid for you don't have to do anything and I don't know any other love like this. God loves us so much that he sacrificed himself for us. That is the ultimate act of love for me. So I'm praying that this encouraged you, this video encouraged you, and that you are comforted in knowing that you have a God that loves you unconditionally. There's nothing that you can do to ruin this love. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, um, Tell me if I can do anything else, any videos that you guys want me to do. Hold on to these scriptures and hold on to the love of God because that is the only thing that is absolute. He will always love us unconditionally. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys next time.